I'm Manu Kakobian. Thank you for tuning in and thank you to our partners, personal injury attorney Nelson Gaborkin. We're here with John Scrappy Ramirez getting ready to return to the ring December 14, Ontario, California, Golden Boy Promotion Show. Yes, sir. Scrappy, last time we saw you, April 20 on the Ryan Garcia undercard, didn't go your way, still gave a hellacious effort. This is your comeback fight. Uh, you're sticking at 115 pounds. What's the plan for you? My well, plan, I mean, the, the goal remains the same. Become world champion, you know. Uh, get this done December 14th, right? Uh, get a second fight, and then get the world title side of here. Uh, yeah, I lost my last fight, lack of experience. I live and I learn, I keep moving. There's no discouragement, I feel good. I keep the same energy, and still focus on the go. You put up a good fight, really set up the show uh, fr from an undercard perspective. It was an entertaining fight. What did you learn, uh, especially in a loss? You can't satisfy everybody, you can't. I gotta stick to the game plan and just listen, you know? You can't put emotions in a fight game, bro. You gotta separate that, you know? That's what happened, but no excuses, bro. The guy came, he beat me, and it is what it is. I live to, to, to fix my mistakes and I'm gonna come back. And I am looking for, for, my, for my rematch. Did you feel the, the bright lights, Barclay no. Center, Devin Ryan undercard, you wanted to overperform perhaps? No, 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 no. It, it wasn't that. For me, it was always about just, I belong here, that's it. You know, I just went about, I didn't stick to the game plan. So the bright lights, None of that got to me. Not like that's normal to me. You know, I play football and I've been in front of cameras. That's nothing, you know. I'm in here seven times a week, bro. You know, it's just another day. Just people watching. That that has never bothered me. I actually love love it. I perform better in front of people. Um, so no, that had nothing to do with the city. What happened? Um, but listen, it's not part. It wasn't part of my plan. But guess what? It happened. Like I said, I live, I learn, and I keep moving forward. I'm not discouraged. You know? If anything, I got better. I came on, I, I came out on top. Now, you're outside looking in, so you wouldn't understand what I'm talking about. But it's got, I, I have faith, and it's got time. I know what's happening. Well, let's talk about it. The fight was in April. We're in October now. Well, what have the last six months been like as far as you just finding the levels to improve? What have you been working on? Just working on what I need to work, my craft, you know? I won't tell you what I've been working, but I've been in here. Had some time to let my body heal, you know? I got a good team. I have Surdo to keep learning from them. And I just, I've been developing my style. Again, I've only been doing this for eight years, you know? And everything has came so far quick, you know? Finding eight times a year and getting signed. Like, I was getting fast results. But let's remember, Rome was not built in one year. Take time, right? So I say that to say this. It's a process for me to get to the top, you know? I'm expecting shit to happen quick because everything has happened quick, you know? And a lot of people have high expectations on me. Is that a good thing? Absolutely. Because they see what I bring to the table. They see the talent. Um, I have high expectations from, but I want quick results. I'm putting a thousand hours in, you know, to master my craft, and I'm getting there. And I know you have your eyes on the world title list right now. The division, Tanaka is the WBO champ. We have the unified champ in Martinez who beat Ioka, who you had, who you had your eyes on. That's and of course, bad. and of course there's Jesse Bam Rodriguez, who's now becoming a pound for pound uh, top 10 fighter. Uh, he's fighting November 9. Uh, what are your thoughts on Jesse Bam Rodriguez? You guys, two Americans uh, f fighting in the same weight class. I know uh, Japan and Eastern Asia right now is dominating the lower weight divisions, but you got two Americans in the 115 pound weight class. Uh, is that a fight that you think could happen sometime next Abs year? Absolutely. As long as he stays at 115 and as long as I keep winning and I get back on track. I think it's a possible fight. I think it's an entertaining fight. I think he's a great fighter. And that's why I've been calling from the jump. That's why I wanted to fight him, because he's a great fighter. I'm, I'm here to see how great am I. 
You know, I like that thrill. That's what I'm chasing. I'm, ch I'm chasing the thrill. I'm chasing greatness. And in order to be the best, you got to be the best, right? And I think maybe Bam is missing a dance partner like yourself who could help promote an event. He's fighting guys I think, I who think, don't speak English. I, I think that's a... We'll sell out for sure. I mean, uh, 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 a great example was Sonny and Bam. Right. That's right. a great example. Two flyways, Sonny talks... Uh, good show, man. Jesse doesn't really... He talks, but he, he got the skills, right? Um, I think we sell out, man. I think we put on a great performance. I think we represent the Super Flyway. I think it will happen in the future, and I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it, actually. With um, yourself, 115 pounds, uh, are you going to be here for the long run? Do you have plans to move up to 118? Uh, once th that that title it seems like that you that division is being unified. Looks like Nakatani might be on his way out. Some belts being vacated. Do you see yourself fighting at 118 also anytime soon? I don't, honestly, I don't know what the future may hold. My main focus is now. I'm taking advantage of the moment, man. You know, too many people think about the future and forget about the present. And don't get shit done. I'm here right now, so I'm gonna take care of 115. You know, um, see how my body feels. If I need to, I will. If I don't, then I'll stay here. The doctor can sit here. Why not? If, I, if I'm capable. But uh, yeah, my main focus is now. Come back December 14. Keep winning. Get the world title. And keep taking over the, the division. And. We have you here. We got to talk about the loaded boxing schedule really quickly. Oh, want to be good. Want to yeah. get your quick predictions. Better be of Bavol. Who do you have winning that? All right, so that's an interesting fight. I, I don't know if this is a fact, but I've heard they, they have a lot of history uh, in the amateurs just coming up. But I, I think it's a good fight. I think it pulls it off, decision. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Better be catching catches him early in the rounds. And Bivol gets up. Make, makes his adjustments and pulls out the win. Um, next question. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. Uh, I'm not even late. I'm not even gonna in entertain that. Uh, I'm happy for Mike Tyson. He's getting paid, but I'm not. I don't really care about that. One. Next question. Usyk Fury. Usyk. You think it's gonna be a repeat? Usyk been on the run. I like him. I like his style. Yeah, I think. I, don't get me wrong, Tyson Fury got skills as well, but I, I think this time is, is done. And going back to the main event that you were the undercard for, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, the, there's been so much fallout from that fight. Now Devin is suing Ryan and Golden Boy. Do you think that's out of line, or uh, you think Devin's in the right there? Nah, take your loss and take your loss and get back and get the rematch, man. Too much crying and complaining, man. I don't fucking feel entitled, bro. Like, come on, man. Welcome to the welcome to the real world. Welcome to the sports of entertainment. Welcome to, yeah, this is part of boxing. You talk shit, right? You promote the fight. Ain't that part of the game? Stop crying and complaining, man. You you were a part of that event. Uh, you got to see, I'm sure, some behind the scenes stuff that we didn't. What was that event like? And just the tumultuous build up, all the ruckus and chaos. Just a lot of back and forth. Uh, a lot of unnecessary drama. Yeah, just a whole bunch of BS. No wasted time. It was good for the people. The people watching. That's what people want, right? That's what the world <laughs> want. Entertainment, dog. Uh, but yeah, you know, us as fighters, there's a lot going through. So we're trying to stay focused. And we don't, we don't care about the extra extra noise. Um, so I can't really tell you because, you know, I was... I didn't wait. Dialed in for so, yourself. Yeah, so you know how, how that go, yeah. right? You, you're like this, bro. You yeah. got the blinders up. Uh, but I do remember going a, a whole bunch of drama, a lot of back and forth. Um, it was loud. It was a good time. It was uh, just looking at the way Ryan was acting, do you think it was an act or do you think that was just him and his demeanor, that, that fight? Part, I think part of it, that's Ryan. That's who Ryan is. Uh, and, of course, also part of it, he was acting, he was just... Dialing That's it up. him. That was him, but he turned it up. Yeah. Just a bit more. Yeah. He don't. Of course, he don't. He. 
every post on Instagram, that's a that's a conscious decision. Right. He actually planned. He was, you know, he planned everything. So, Probably someone else even posting for him. Nah, I, it was it, okay. It was him. It was his team. Let's just put right. it, let's just leave it at that. It was his team. Was he training? Absolutely. The time that he drank the beer on the way in, was that real beer? Absolutely not, because you know the commission not gonna let that happen, right? Right. So he got every, everything was planned, bro. Definitely got people talking about the event. Well, what do you think a rematch would look like? Do you think Devin would look better in a rematch? Or? I think it would be the same thing. Like, what, there's one thing people keep forgetting about. Yes, Devin Haney's a better boxer, but they been, they they fought plenty of times in an amateur. They they also have, uh, uh, they also sport, so... There's a mutual understanding and like a respect level where like when they get in the ring, they're already comfortable with each other because they've been in the ring with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like if I if I face some a new face, like I feel a little there's a lot of questioning, you know, because I want to figure out who the person is in the ring, right? They've been in the ring before, right? They're already comfortable with each other, you know. It's gonna play out the same way, bro. They've been going at it for, I don't know, 10 plus years. It's been the same back and forth. So it doesn't make no difference. Yeah, they're older, but it's the same thing. Same, there, you, same. there you have you it, know, Jones. You, you'll, get the, you'll, get, you'll get the same, the same fight. Watch. There you have it, John Scrappy Ramirez. Again, December 14, Ontario, California, Golden Boy Promotion Show. Getting ready for the return and another run for a 115 pound title. Yeah, man. And look, I did it once and I could do it again. <laughs>